What is up guys, it's your boy Crossbow Cacus, and today we are going to be showcasing the brand new dungeon exotic weapon that was just introduced into Destiny 2 within Season of the Wish. Now you can acquire this thing as a random drop from the final encounter of the brand new Warlord's Ruin dungeon. And also, you just have to be incredibly lucky. In fact, huge shout out to my friend True Vanguard for letting me try this thing out. If you haven't subscribed to True Vanguard, what are you doing? He makes awesome content. But aside from that, if you guys want to get this thing for yourself, you're going to have to beat the brand new dungeon. Well, don't worry. I've put out the complete Warlord's Ruin dungeon guide. Definitely check it out. It's linked up right above. But moving on, what the heck is this new dungeon exotic? Well, it's called the Buried Bloodline, and it's one of the most unique weapons in all of Destiny 2. So, it is technically a sidearm, but as you can see, it's more like a handheld crossbow. It actually also uses special ammo for a sidearm, so somewhat similar to the Forerunner, and it has a completely unique damage archetype doing 100 rounds per minute. So, as you can see right here, it is a void handheld special sidearm crossbow. <laughs> Like what? Well, let's take a look at its exotic perks. Intrinsically, it has Hungering Quarrel, double fires tracking bolts, landing bolts leeches health from the target. Then we have another unique perk here, Violent Reanimation. Multiple final blows with this weapon grant Devour to the wielder. So, Right off the bat, let's talk about the tracking bolts and double tracking bolts. Well, as you can see from the gameplay, it absolutely does have double bolts. Like you will see two damage numbers pop up against more powerful enemies that aren't killed with, you know, a single one of those bolts. And honestly, as you can see against like these yellow bar servitors, it kind of schmacks. Like, it's not going to be doing raid boss DPS, but for a single shot, it actually hits relatively hard. I mean, it is a special weapon. And then the devour part is also very interesting. So just get a few final blows, and suddenly you get that devour keyword. And if you are using a void subclass, which I am in the background gameplay, like, you can spec into Devour. There's fragments that will increase its duration, and it's going to give you a ton of benefits. It's going to give you health back upon getting kills. It's going to give you massive grenade regeneration. Like, triggering Devour is something most Void builds would be very interested in, but you can use the Buried Bloodline, and it's just going to do it for you. No need for fragments or exotics or whatever the heck else abilities. You just get kills with this thing. And it turns out it's pretty darn easy to get kills with this thing. Like, in my time using it, it most often resulted in a one-shot kill against red bars I would come across. Even more powerful enemies like shielded guys, yellow bars, it was just a few shots to dispatch. Now, again, in terms of DPS, you can see me actually use it against a boss boss within the coil. Yeah, you know, it's chunking with every shot, but it's really not doing anything absolutely crazy. Now, as for the tracking bolts part of the description, well, honestly, I tried, guys, but I really didn't notice too much tracking. You can see me trying to shoot enemies from a far distance away, trying to shoot beside them, and it usually would just miss. Now, interestingly, if I zoom in here on the reticle, you can see the reticle kind of change when I hover over a target, and I think that's indicating that, like, if you shoot while this reticle is like engaging, you get a guaranteed hit. And so sometimes when I'm barely on the side of these enemies, right? And you're like, maybe I could miss, maybe I could hit. It usually does give you the hit, but you certainly still need to aim. There isn't like an aggressive tracking, right? Uh, to these shots. Interestingly, however, part of that could just be the actual projectile speed 
is pretty darn good. It's certainly not a hit scan, but like you can see in the background gameplay, I'm really not having to lead my shots or anything like that. Maybe in PVP with people sliding at 100 miles an hour from across the map, you're gonna have to lead. But for the most part with my experience, I just shot directly at enemies and that speed combined with, you know, a light degree of tracking and some pretty generous bullet magnetism, I would say, meant that it was pretty darn easy to get hits. So much so that I honestly just ended up hip firing a lot of the time because like, as long as your reticle is generally over the target, you're gonna get that hit. And so, is the Buried Bloodline any good? Is it worth going after? Well, I really can't sit here and say like, yes, this is a good weapon or no, this is a bad weapon because guys, there is nothing to compare this to. Like it's kind of like a little mini sniper rifle in your hand, like with, you get so many one shots, that's really, really nice. Uh, but it has 11 rounds in the magazine. It's much better at close quarters. It, you know, is it good against higher tier content? I, I'm not too sure. Certainly the advantage uh, that this thing gets is that it's a sidearm. And you can see from this gameplay, I was going and testing out uh, the other special weapon sidearm, the legendary rocket sidearm that was also introduced in this dungeon. You can see with that, it's a one shot to lower the enemy barrier champion shields because we have anti-barrier sidearm as a mod in the game right now. So this special weapon that hits way harder than any primary is going to be able to gain a benefit from an anti-champion mod that until this point was always used for primary weapons, with the Forerunner being the one exception. But, you know, if you are in a solo loss sector where you have a Void Singe or you have to deal with Void Shields, like, why not put this thing on as your special? You got one type of champion covered, and then you can just use a primary weapon to deal with the other type of champion. That's really, really good. What a lot of people end up doing is running just double primary and then a heavy. And that will certainly get the job done, but it's not necessarily making for any sort of speedy runs. Well, with this absolutely clapping, any red bars you come across and then being able to output significantly more damage than 99% of primaries at the final boss, like it is really a viable option for solo loss sectors. Now, with that being said, you know, if there is a seasonal artifact mod that is anti-barrier sniper rifles or a traditional special weapon, that's gonna start to pull ahead of the Buried Bloodline because it's a special weapon, but other special weapons will significantly outdamage it, at least from what I saw. So it's such an interesting conundrum. It's really going to depend on what like available mods and the available meta is uh, for the Buried Bloodline to see a ton of play. I think there is some, some unique potential, but again, it's so hard for me to say. At the end of the day, this thing could absolutely suck. There's just nothing to compare it to. It's so unique, and frankly, that's why I want it. I mean, for goodness sakes, guys, like this might not be the absolute most meta exotic in the entire game, but I would way rather have a buried bloodline than the 45th hand cannon that everyone swears is the best in the game this time, but my palindrome is still drilling people in the head, so why do I gotta switch? Honestly, I love the uniqueness. It is something actually pretty interesting, and with how easy it grants Devour, it could be something that Void Builds seriously try to incorporate. And so guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed and found this informative. If you did, please remember to help me out by simply rating and especially sharing this video. If you guys wanna see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. If you wanna get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Cacus that is linked in the description down below. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video and as always, have a good day.